Hi, my name is Rajiv Gupta. And in this video, I'm going to share some of my learnings on why some ideas survive and others die. All great ideas are not successful. Many times they go unrewarded as well. And at the same time, far less worthy ideas, they spread like wildfire. And how we can decode this mystery? From the book, Made to Stick, my learning is that the ideas that stick have four key qualities. And I have given the acronym see us uh, uh, for these four um, ideas. And it's spelled as C-E-U-S. C stands for curiosity. E is emotional. U is unexpected and S is simple. So see us is the mystery behind why some ideas stick. And we will now decode all these four uh, one by one. First is ideas that stick, they actually create curiosity gap. See, the most effective way to grab someone's attention is to show that there is something important they don't know yet. This immediately shakes them out, shakes them out of their autopilot by creating a curiosity gap. Surprising facts and figures are great for this and are therefore a strong way of opening a successful pitch or a presentation for any idea you want to give. Just think about this. If a business leader starts the meeting by saying, why do 40% of our customers contribute to only 10% of the company sales? I am sure that this will immediately stick in the audience mind and will make them want to hear more about this. So that's on curiosity gap, first one. Now the second is ideas that stick are emotional. As I've shared in some of my pre previous messages, it is not the facts, figures, and logic which drive our, our behavior, human behavior. It actually is our emotions which drive our behavior. And that is why if you have to appeal to people to donate for, for hungry kids, for starving children, showing a picture of just one child in need of food who could be saved by a donation, which we, would be much more powerful than the facts and figures on how, you know, how many millions of children are starving. So if the aim is to get people to take action, the message needs to appeal directly to their emotions. I will share my own personal story. Years ago, me and my wife went to a shopping mall to buy a home theater system. My budget was around 40 or 1,000 rupees that time. We saw a Bose uh, showroom there in the mall. We went in and the salesman took us into the demo room. It was a fantastic place. It was with the best of the best sofas, best of the interiors, best of the LCD screen, screen of that time. And finally, he started the home theater system with fantastic output. Obviously, the home theater system was more than 10 times costlier than my budget. While I didn't buy it that time, but what they had done successfully was arousing our emotions. And while coming out of the showroom, me and my wife agreed that if not now, but soon we will buy one. So that was on the second, which is ideas that stick are emotional. Third is ideas that stick are unexpected. And why it is so? It, because our brain likes to save energy by running on autopilot mode whenever possible. And the same applies to, you know, once you are good in making in driving a car, uh, it, ha it happens in autopilot mode. Once you learn how to make a cup of tea, even though you're on a call, uh, you will put all the ingredients rightly to make the right, uh, you know, the, the tea of your taste. And why the brain does, it does this by some subconsciously paying no attention to familiar things. But when you are confronted with anything unexpected, it may be an unexpected situation or an unexpected information, the brain gets shaken up out of the autopilot mode. And that is why the unexpected receives full attention. Let's take our own real life situation. 
we all have taken numerous flights. Tell me how many times you had given due attention to the flight safety announcement done by the flight steward. Maybe once, maybe twice. And why it is so? It is because we all have, you know, we all have learned the script inside out by that time and hence we pay absolutely no attention. But what if the flight attendant would have said, while there may be 50 ways to leave your lover, there is only one way to leave, leave this aircraft in case of an emergency. I'm sure you would have listened to this, this particular safety announcement intentfully. So that is, that is the third um, um, quality of a, a, a sticky message, which is the message has to be unexpected. The fourth and the last learning which I have from this book is ideas that stick are simple. It's always tempting to try and explain an idea as thoroughly as possible, as detailed as possible. But my friends, when it comes to stickiness, too much detail is counterproductive. So cut the idea down to just simple one statement, one statement. Let's take an example of a problem which, uh, 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 which had to be addressed in America. Certain health groups, they wanted to raise awareness of the fact that the popcorns being sold in movie theaters were prepared using coconut oil that contained extraordinary high amount of saturated fat, which, which used to make it extremely unhealthy. Now, simply telling this fact to the consumers that you know their bag of popcorn is containing 35, 40 gram of saturated fat, it was not really effective. So they simplified the message like this. The new message was a medium-sized butter popcorn at a typical movie theater contains more artery, artery clogging fats that a bacon and egg breakfast plus a Big Mac plus a fries plus, plus a steak dinner all together contains. And guess what? This messaging worked and soon that particular oil was replaced with more healthier one. So if I have to conclude, the key message is that every idea can be presented so that it sticks. If it is C us, C stands for it generates curiosity, E stands for it is emotional, U stands for it is unexpected and S is it is simple. Thank you so much, everyone.